to Brian in California. We're going from the UK to California. Brian, you're talking to Eric and Gail. How are you doing? Hi. Um, I am a, I just want to start by saying I am a huge fan of you, Eric. Uh, oh, wow. And Thank this you. show. Yay. I have been watching for months now. You guys have helped open my mind and give me a, a lot to think about and a lot of a lot of really astounding revelations and breakthroughs. And uh, I just want to say thank Cheers. you. And uh, it, I like and subscribe and <laughs> follow <laughs> you guys a lot. Well, that's um, awesome, man. Thank you so much. No I, higher praise, Brian. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And by the way, we, you're marked as a religious caller. Yes. I, I identify myself as as a theist, okay. uh, I go from the perspective that um, God or gods exist, but they don't care about us. Okay. And I have a hypothesis as to why and how it uh, works Well, I, I, in the so, greater scheme of things. So, so I've been so, wanting to, I've worked on it and mm -hmm. I've listened to you and Matt and everyone else and... Uh, Kind of finally got enough guts to call and uh, yeah, ask you guys about it and so what um, you guys think. Well, be before we so. dive into it, Brian, I, I have to ask you, um, what you're going with is a hypothesis that if I'm correct, please correct me um, if I'm wrong. Mostly physics. Pre I like uh, well, strength oh, hold theory. Hold on, Brian, hold on. Sorry. No, it's okay. We oh, There's a bit of a delay in the call, so I totally get it. Um what, are you, aren't you presupposing that that God exists before you can get to the reasoning and will and mind of that deity? Why should you make that pre presupposition in the first place? I went with more of a science idea of it, of how, um, what's it called? Of, of I don't remember what the premise is called. Um, Cells started from uh, bacteria in early Earth. Okay. I don't um, remember what the... So, so, again, I know that you want to get into talking about the nature of a god. My first question for you, excuse me, is how did you get there? How did you determine that that god exists? Oh, I use... I'm, I'm going with the same logic that... Um, Proto life exists. I'm I'm going with the same notion that if proto life can exist on this dimension, then proto life can exist on any dimension. Because what if I told you that that's fallacious? I I'm not following. Sure. Um, so there is another fallacy. It's fallacy day today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 actually excited. It's the fallacy of division. And please correct me if I'm wrong because I think I nailed that one. Um, uh, so the idea that the constituent parts of something and that things, you know, um, what is true for a, a thing is also true for its constituent parts, right? So let's say I have a car and I take the wheel off. If that were true then the wheel would also be a car. And every piece taken off of it would be a car. But it actually is a car when we put all of those pieces together. If, if you're trying to divide out um, then and, 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 and subscribe, ascribe the same qualities to it, um, that's, that's, it, it doesn't get you to truth. Um, Fallacy you're... of composition. Compos composition and division. I got the exact. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that goes with the concept that um, now you're saying lower dimensions can't necessarily have life, but higher dimensions still have a possibility of having life. Because, um, I mean, higher okay, dimensions. There might not be like a first dimensional life form and a second dimensional life form. Um, I still think there might be a third dimensional life, even though we don't Us. know how to track it down well it, we're it, fourth dimensional life so we can confirm that fourth dimensional life exists fifth dimensional life physicists are trying to disprove 
but they can't. Okay, I'm, they I'm, I'm, been I'm able to figure it out. I'm having a definition issue here. Um, okay. I, I, I understand one and two dimensions. We're talking about X and Y planes. Yeah. Right. And, and uh, when we bring in a third dimension, we bring in a Z and we have 3D life. Um, I've yeah. heard the fourth dimension referred as time. Yes. Um, and, and so we're moving we're through time. What the hell is the fifth dimension? Fifth dimension. Help my be, ignorance. Here. Uh, fifth dimension, I'm using the definition that a fifth dimension is a uh, multi dimensional uh, life forms. So, okay. um, the spider verse. Do you, do you have any reason to accept that as a true thing? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, we, we can bring in a physicist and they can talk about string theory and we can talk about the possibility of alternate universes and all of that stuff. Um, I am actually, until... I, I don't feel like I've been given convincing enough evidence to support it. I Right now, I'm still living in this universe and to the best of my knowledge, it's the only one that we have or the only one that there is. I'd love to be proven wrong. Um, but when you're, when you're making that reach, I, I'm, I, I just don't see any reason to... Um, <laughs> if that was your child, I absolutely adore them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's mad at me that I'm talking on the phone. Okay. I love it. <laughs> and he anyway, um, yeah. Uh, why? Why? Um, so, so you're for, you're for a fifth dimension when you look at a um neutron. When you zoom in too close, it fixes as either positive or negative. Right. But before you zoom in on it, you can't tell if it is positive or negative. Okay. And if you were to, and you can't capture the same one again, so you can never confirm if that one is fixed so, so, as so. that. But that supposes the concept that there are at least two dimensions. Well, and so and the fifth dimension would at least suppose that again there are an additional again you're 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 taking something that you understand and you're you're applying that and and I, I understand that this is something that we've observed and that makes it something that we've observed um but when when you go and and start talking about um how you might suppose other dimensions existing and what you think they're made up of and what you think like dude you have lost me at the beginning I think the time to talk about it is, I think, as we've said on, in other calls, when there's sufficient evidence. And don't get me wrong, send an email, mail at talkheathen.com, or uh, hop onto our Reddit. We've got some brilliant people there because I know my math isn't, isn't high enough to get a lot of it. It shoots right over my head. And Brian, you started this conversation uh, by saying that you're working through your beliefs, and I understand that, and I, and, and, um, and I appreciate you expressing your gratitude to, to the show. It's not uncommon as you work through the, your belief system. Uh, it, it almost feels like, I could be wrong, and it's my perception, it almost feels like you're looking for a way to continue to believe in a deity or some kind of a being. And so you've come up with this kind of convol convoluted for me. I'm, it's not my field. It's not my area of expertise. So you did lose me a way back. But it almost as if you're trying to make it be a god so that you can retain that peace. Am I off track? Um. Kind of, yeah. because my definition of God, I mean, that was only like my strongest thing. And you guys basically both just said, you don't really want to hear it because it's, it's really complicated. And I don't want to go through the long version of it because basically the short version of it is just, can we agree that there's a con there's a possibility of life living on other planets? And then from there, could we agree that there's a possibility life could live in other dimensions? Um, so and any I, dimensional being higher than ours would be equivalently a god compared to ours. But again, none of them care about us. Yeah, that, that, that's that's a. Um, would they? Okay, um, so that is actually a version 
of William Lane Craig's version of um, the Kalam cosmological argument. Um, definitely check that up and um, also check out the, uh, the, the fallacy of um, composition and division. I think that will help. I think that would be a really good tool. I know we have other callers, but hopefully that will help put you in a good direction. All right. Thank you. Thank you.